Chris Tucker from Saki Tech and in today's video we have a great new update for many Samsung Galaxy phones. So this update actually gets applied to the powerful Galaxy Enhanced X application that allows you to modify, improve and enhance your photos. So this is the app I'm talking about right over here, the Galaxy Enhanced application. You can see it's got the remove blur options, it's got the C colors in HDR option, it's got the erase shadows option, and many more AI functionalities inside the application. So let me show you what's going on. Now first and foremost, to download the update, the latest update or the latest version of the app, all you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below. Once you click the link, you're gonna be at my website, and right over here, you wanna scroll down just a little bit, under download, you are gonna click this link. When you click that link, it's gonna take you to the Galaxy Store, and from here at the bottom, you will either say install if you don't have the app or update if you do have the app. Now if you do scroll down here, you can see it is a relatively large update. It is 170 megabytes. That's pretty large for an app. The update date was May the 7th and the version number is 2.0.89. That is gonna be the latest version. So make sure you get that. Now let's go back to the application, okay? Right over here. So basically if I select the photo, Let's just select a random photo right here. Let's just get this one right here. Now there's a couple things you can do here. One of the things is the magic. Now the magic works very well. So this photo here was taken with the high resolution photo of the S24 Ultra. So even when I tap on magic, it's gonna tell me that the image is already great in quality, so no magic needed. But if you have lower quality images, it's gonna work great, especially with budget and medium range smartphones. But beyond that, if you're not aware, you can apply brightness and HDR effects. So right now, at the bottom, I can increase the intensity of the HDR, and you can see this is, this is the before right here, and this is after HDR has been applied, so the photo is slightly more brighter and vibrant, all right? So you can fine tune all that stuff with these menus. Now you also have the options to denoise a photo that is noisy, that's great for low light. You can sharpen existing photos that may be very flat, and then you have all these other options over here that you can play with, okay? Now another thing you can do is if you have a human photo. Let's just bring in a human photo. Uh, let me go back here. So here's my daughter. What I can do again is I can do magic. You get the suggestions on the top, by the way, right here. But when you have a photo of a person, you can tap on the face and you get portray specific photos. So look, I can change, make changes to the face. I can change the smoothness of the face if I want to make it extra smooth. I can go over here. I can change the tone of the face, as you can see. I can tap here, I can make changes to the eyes and stuff, all using these little dials at the bottom. And again, you can see before and after. Before, after. Okay, this one does look smoother. You can even add portrait effect to a photo that already doesn't have a portrait effect. So this one, it just intensified the effect. So this is before and that's after. Before, after. As you can see, the bokeh in the background is more blurry. So that's the Galaxy Enhance app. And again, this update did not bring any new features, but it simply made the application much better than before. Again, like we said, that's a large update, almost 170 megabytes. So grab it and start modifying and enhancing your photos as you see fit. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.